doing good, thank you. Nice to meet you. Meet you. So, how much did you uh, get to know about your character in terms of the backstory and things before um, you know, Sunday? How was it pitched to you? Yeah, um, most of my backstory research actually came from Caroline Dries, who is our showrunner, because in the comics, Sophie is in the comic book just a little bit because after military school she and Kate they split up and then Kate goes on and finds other relationships so there wasn't really too much for me to pull from from the comic so the showrunner gave me a very very good idea of what was going to be going on and from that I just kind of created this uh, this life for her and um, it's been awesome. Do you have any uh military training and do anything like that for the part? Um, it's mostly just been Honestly, the training has been like the best part because um, mostly it's like for stunts. It's not specifically like military training, but um, our stunt training team, you know, every other week we'll all get together and they're teaching us um, literally like boxing skills. Like I now know how to drop kick somebody. Um, the, and uh, I know it's, it's honestly like so much fun. And, you know, they actually, we do have a military guy that does come on set who will just like instruct us on like how to properly hold the gun or how to properly stand. But as far as like going off and doing a training just specifically for military, we haven't done that. Yeah. So in the, towards the end of the pilot, we yeah. learned that Sophie is married. Uh, dun, dun, dun. How quickly are we going to learn more? Are we using flashbacks that are Sophie's so sent? Yes, there are definitely going to be some flashbacks and people are going to definitely get a much better understanding as to why this split in military school really happened and because uh, yeah you don't get that much of it in the pilot but later on you're going to be going through this struggle with Sophie because she's trying to figure out like am I am I living in my truth or is my truth my husband or uh, Kate like there's going to be a lot of that up and down back and forth and the pull between her and Kate but um, yeah you're going to definitely get a lot of backstory it's coming I'm actually really excited about it because we just filmed it okay. <laughs> Yeah. Well, the thing with Batwoman because she's she you know she's new to Gotham too. So it's it's only really been Batman. So she doesn't really have too much of an opinion on Batwoman other than the fact that she's just wondering who the heck she is. Um, as far as Batman, I think Sophie's completely fine with Batman, but because you know Jacob Kane, he cannot stand Batman. That's kind of had his leadership has kind of had an impression on the crows in general. But she doesn't have a problem with it. Yeah. Passionate, loyal fan base. Are you excited to see that community's reception to your character? Absolutely. Honestly, I look. I love all the characters on the show, but I genuinely feel like Sophie represents so many women out there, and it truly is such an honor to be able to play this role because I just I'm hoping that it's just going to expand people's empathy meter. It's going to expand their understanding meter, and that people will be able to relate to her because um, it's a very human story, and so. Truly, it's just only magnified my purpose as an artist to be able to do this. And um, I mean, I, I hope they're okay with me doing it and I hope they like it. So, how does it feel joining this large established DC universe? Oh my gosh, it feels really good. It's very exciting, but there's also like a lot of pressure too because. You know, the, the DC fans, they're very passionate and we don't want to like let them down. So the thing is, is like, even though it is, you know, it's based off of the comics, this is, this is also the CW's version as well. So they're crossing the both of those and you just hope that the cross is going to be a really good one and that people will love it. But it's been exciting. It's been amazing, but it's definitely been a little bit of pressure because I hope people will love it as much as we do. Anyone, because they are already established, did you speak to anyone or ask advice from anyone specifically about going into that world? Going into the DC world? Um, just a little bit. Like, I, I'm actually really good friends with Candace Patton, and uh, we have the same representation, and, and, and I was just like, hey, look, you know, what is it like? What did you do? What was it like at first? And she kind of gave me the little, you know, the P's and Q's on what to do, and, uh, um, some of it was a little terrifying because I was like, okay, wait, I have to do, wait, what? And so it, it was weird, but, um, but no, yeah, that was, she was really the only person that I could ask. And from there, it's just been, you know, learn as I go. So hopefully I'm doing okay. I don't know. <laughs> I can't answer that question, but you'll just have to tune in and see. <laughs> Is there going to be one that's more of a nemesis for your character in particular? Hmm. 
That's a very good question. Um, because I'm trying to figure out what I can say and answer. And uh, you know what? You'll just have to tune in to season one to see. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to get in trouble. But it's possible that there's a main nemesis for Sophie. Yeah, definitely. You'll basically be with the crows. Oh yes, yeah. So the crows. Yeah, we're we're out there trying to help protect the elite in Gotham, and um, yeah, there it gets a little you know hairy at times because now we've got Batwoman because you know Batman's been missing for three years, so everyone's just been relying on us, and now here comes Batwoman. We're like, who's Batwoman? So yeah, there's gonna be yeah, you're gonna see some bumping of heads between the two for sure. So in the final episode, we learned that Sophia is basically Jacob's like number one yeah. agent. So how does that? Uh, relationship between Jacob and Sophie complicate Sophie's relationship with Kate? Uh, it complicates it a lot because the thing is Jacob, you know, wanted Kate to do a certain thing and and she didn't want to. The thing with Kate, you know, she's she kind of is in her own lane. She's a very strong woman. She's like, you know what? That's not right. I'm going to do this. Well, Sophie is like, no, I'm going to do this so that I can be a part of that. And and that in of itself definitely is going to cause a little bit of a of a bumping of heads between the two because for Jacob, Sophie is like the daughter he didn't have. So there's definitely going to be some bumping of heads for sure. Yeah. And we've obviously seen Gotham a few times before yeah. on TV. Yeah, so, which is so cool. I love that show. So what, how would you describe this Gotham and um, what was your reaction to first seeing those sets? Oh my gosh. We've seen a little bit in Elf yeah so the thing is is um so i was a huge batman fan so booking this has just been like ah. and so being in our world of gotham stepping onto the bat cave you guys honestly i freaked out <laughs> i was so excited and then we actually just filmed in chicago when we were in front of like you know the would-be wayne tower you guys literally i like froze in my space and i was just like I'm like, this was from the dark night. So I'm literally taking selfies with the building. Um, it's it's awesome. Yeah, we, we do our best to take, you know, uh, what do you want to call it? Taking the, the backdrops that you've seen in the dark night and in other Batman movies, and we try to put them in our show too. So hopefully that will be something that people will want to like look forward to. Oh, yeah, for sure. Definitely. That's the cool thing about this. It's like we have our sets, but then we also have the authentic sets that you've seen in other movies too. So here's your Batman. Oh gosh, The Dark Knight, Christian Bale. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Nice to chat with you.